Hi, welcome to Rhonda Said. I'm Rhonda. I love saying things and I'm super glad to see you here today. I hope you're having a great day or day of your choice and I hope you will like, comment, subscribe and ring the bell down below. I would really appreciate it. I'm working towards a 1300 subscribers and we're getting really close and if you subscribe then you'll be eligible to win a big giveaway that we're doing uh, when that occurs. So that's very exciting. I have other exciting news today. I'm doing a look with the 35XO palette from Morphe, which I've used this palette before, but it's springtime. And these colors are perfect for spring. And then I'm trying a brand new mascara from Jeffree Star. That's right, the F Proof Mascara. And it says that it is weatherproof, sweatproof, F-proof, gag-proof, and cry-proof. So we'll see if I can't try it out today. I don't think I'm going to cry or gag or sweat today because it's too nice outside. But we'll just see how it works as a regular old mascara. It's good that it's all those things proof, but, you know... Maybe I'll, I'm going to wear it for a while today, so we'll see how it lasts throughout the day. And uh, this palette is Gorgioso, and I'm going to make a really pretty look with it. Let's start with, um, come here often in the crease. And that's a really great base color. And I was just thinking, in real life, Jeffree Star and Morphe wouldn't be in a video together. Because Morphe cut Jeffree out because his controversies. Ooh, my hair is looking super cute today. I'm so excited. I love a good hair day. I love a, I love a good any day. Much but a good hair day. That's like icing on the cake. Speaking of icing and cake, let's put some more eyeshadow on. Let's go in with Major Seduction in the crease. And that's very pretty and very subtle. It's much darker in the pan. Ooh, super pretty. And there's some really pretty shimmers down here. Let's see about doing Talk Feelings in this matte color here. And that's really nice. I keep looking for a mirror, but there's not a mirror. There's a little fallout under my eye. And I'm going to go into your move for the lid. That's so pretty. I'm going to do just a little bit of a darker color in the on the outside corner here for some depth. But I think I'm about done with this look. It's real simple. But that's all I need is because this is for the mascara. I'm going to go into Love Story down here. That's super cute. 
Now I'm done with that palette. And this is just a real pretty simple pink eye look and it's great to go with this little spring shirt. And now for the mascara, let's, I, I'm going to put some liner on and we're going to do an unveiling of the mascara. And I've got my favorite Stila waterproof mascara. Now for the F proof mascara. Dare I say it? The fuck proof mascara. It's so naughty. So it's magnetic opening, and can you see those eyes? Look, there you go in the reflection. It's got these beautiful eyes with this great mascara looking like matte lashes. The back of the box looks like this. It's very luxurious, and it's a magnetic opening. And this is what it looks like in the box. And then you take it out and it's a little cat of nine tails. If you don't know what a cat of nine tails is, it's a little whip. <laughs> and he's like, and it works. In his video, he's like, and this whip works. It sure does. You can whip yourself or someone else if they're naughty. But this is removable. So I'm going to take this off and you can just hang that on, a, on the, on your purse or what have you. I have other ideas, but I'm going to keep them PG. <laughs> if you have a little nipple ring <laughs> or your earring, you can hang it as a dangly earring. And it is, look at this. It's beautiful braided faux leather. It's gorgeous. That's the first time I've pulled it from its shell. It smells just like regular mascara. Oh, and the, you can't set it down on the bottom. But let's just see how it does. Kind of a dry formula. But it is giving length and defining my lashes. They do look long. I don't have a zoom on my phone, but I am telling you, the bristles feel very sharp on my on my eyelid there, where you know the lashes and the skin meet. But it's making really beautiful, soft, feathery lashes. My left eye, the lashes are shorter than my right eye. But they're doing okay with this mascara. I'm usually like, I like a one coat mascara. Like if I do one coat of my Pat McGrath Dark Star or Fetish Eyes, I don't need another coat. But let's do another coat of this because this, you know, sometimes the mascara needs time to like air out. It's really making my lashes look really long and feathery. No clumping at all. They look gorgeous.
and the second coat really makes a huge difference. Did I show you the wand close up? Let me put my hand behind it so you can see it's kind of got a little undul undulation, like it goes in and up, up and down a little bit. But so far, I like it. It makes my lashes look long and thin. It's not a very volumizing mascara, but it definitely gives you definition and length. And this coming straight out of the box and onto my eyes, that's really good for any mascara that I've tried before. So I'll wear it and um, I'll use it in my next few videos and see how it all goes. But for now, I'm going to put it back in its fancy little storage box. So far, I like it. And you can actually see my lashes. You can visibly see my lashes, which is unusual, especially on this left side. But I can see my lashes in the viewfinder. And the little lashes. These little baby lashes over here. Does anybody else have longer lashes on one side than the other? Like this side of my face is different, completely different than this side. I know you'd have to like stare at me for a long time to tell, but uh, you know, everybody's a little asymmetrical, I think. Uh, enough about my facial insecurities. <laughs> I hope you have a fantastic day or day of your choice. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you real soon.